Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Audio Tips. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys something real cool. It's basically uh, if you have any Waves plugins on your computer. Um, for the next couple videos, I'm going to go through every single Wave plugin. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about it. And in, uh, in future videos, I'm going to show you guys how to actually use them to your advantage and create cool stuff with them. But for right now, I'm just going to. I'm going to show you guys around the software and where to locate your Waves plugins and where to open them up from. Now, Logic is so cool uh, because uh, when you go into your audio effects, it actually stores them under Waves Waves, uh, Waves plugins. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to them. We can either go to the mix screen or we can click up here with the dot that's the, that uh, has an eye in it. We're going to go down to our flashback uh Choir, that's where we're going to put our plugin in. We're going to go down to audio effects. You guys can see it's right under the input. We're going to go to audio effects. We're going to go down to audio units and we're going to go down to waves and you'll see it. These are all your waves plugins. I'm going to go through them one by one in the next videos. I'm going to talk to you guys about all these uh, all these plugins. I'm going to get you guys really going. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Uh, Please uh, look at my future videos because I'm going to show you guys a lot of cool stuff. Thank you guys uh, for uh, viewing and uh, please subscribe.